My name is Steve August, I'm a New Zealand physiotherapist. Uh, I want to talk about asthma, not from the usual viewpoint. Um, there's a New Zealand innovation that we've been finding is really useful for asthma specifically. Not so much for the lungs themselves, but for the rib cage surrounding the lungs. Now, I, I'm not going to talk about uh, all the details of um, deep breathing and uh, the, the various medications you can use to open up the airways and the lungs. I really want to make the point that you can't, regardless of the state of the lungs, you can't expand them fully if you can't expand the rib cage around them fully. And you can't do that unless the rib hinges, where the, where the ribs join onto the back of the um, spine, um, are moving fully. This is commonly a problem, especially in uh, asthma that you've had since childhood, um, when little kids have been developing while they've been essentially sucking over trying to breathe in air. You get so many comments about tight chests, and the assumption with asthma is that it's um, sort of tight lungs, whatever they are. Um, I find that in the chronic cases of asthma particularly, the, because the lungs haven't been able to be filled properly um, for a long time, the rib hinges themselves have frozen down so that you simply can't expand the rib cage fully enough to get a really good full breath regardless of the state of the lungs. You often get that comment about tight chests and frequently I think it's referring to the tight rib cage more than just the tight um, lungs inside the rib cage. So, how do you loosen up the, uh, the tight rib hinges? You can do manual physio techniques where you're jiggling the hinges, but the, the, the hinges which join onto um, uh, the, the elements at the back of your spine and then wind around the front and join onto the rib cage um, are, are surrounded by a massively tough material called collagen. It's stronger kilo for kilo than steel wire. And to loosen that off so that the hinges get a chance to move freely, uh, ideally you want a really strong, accurate, uh, sustained stretch on it, a bit like you'd stretch a, um, a hamstring muscle. Now, what we're using in New Zealand is this unit here uh, called a back pod, which is essentially a high-tech cushioned fulcrum. You can lie back on it positioning it under the curve of the ribs and your upper body weight is then uh, pushing the ribs down onto the back pod um, and therefore stretching the tight collagen material which has stiffened down around the restricted rib hinge movement. So you, you have to have something really quite strong to loosen that and um, this is what we find works. So this is the sort of thing that you can lie back on, so it's looking a bit like this moved out to the side of the spine, sitting on the curve of the ribs and using your own upper body weight to, um, to stretch the tight material around the hinges. Um, you can do this at home on your own, uh, lying back on the back pod, and it's the same position that you would use to practice diaphragmatic breathing. So in fact we've been finding patients have been doing both, lying back on the back pod um, but also practicing their diaphragmatic breathing to get the air into the bottom part of the lungs while they're doing it. It's a really good combination. Last comment is that uh, we didn't actually design the back pod for that. We, we built it more for uh, what we call the eye hunch, the usual hunched spine you get with people bending over laptops, tablets and smartphones, which is what drives most neck pain. Um, people growing up under asthma are frequently sucking in air and they often come through with that quite tight hunched spine as well as the tight rib hinges. So if you're then using the back part in the centre of the spine, which is what we built it for in the first place, um, your upper body weight is then stretching the tight material so that the spine can actually straighten up itself. Again, it's a matter of leverage. This collagen material around the hinges is so tough, you have to use a long, strong, sustained stretch to actually make a difference on it. So I recommend uh, the back pod uh, basically for loosening off the chronic tight stuff and anybody who's uh, got tight hinges feels like a tight rib cage from asthma. It's very logical, very straightforward. Do hope it, uh, it works. We've been finding we've been getting really good results with it. Thank you.